During the 2019 Indian Premier League season, Kings 11th Punjab captain Ravi Chandran Ashwin dismissed Rajasthan Royals batsman Joe Butler through a type of run-out which has come to be known as man-cudding. Like previous episodes of man-cudding, the Butler dismissal caused an uproar in the cricketing world and left opinions divided on the issue. So what is man-cudding? Put simply, man-cudding happens when the batsman and the non-striker's end leaves the crease before the bowler has released the ball, and the bowler, rather than delivering the ball, dismantles the bales to cause a run-out. Man-cudding is within the laws of the game. Law 41.16 of the Laws of Cricket states, If the non-striker is out of his or her ground from the moment the ball comes into play to the instant when the bowler would normally have been expected to release the ball, the bowler is permitted to attempt to run him or her out. Whilst it is a legal method of dismissing a batsman, it has traditionally been regarded as not within the spirit of the game. Ashwin's dismissal of Butler drew some strong criticism from both present and former cricketers. Eon Morgan described it as a terrible example for young kids, whilst Shane Warne also expressed disappointment and slammed it as a disgraceful act. However, the Marlebone Cricket Club, as the custodians of the laws of cricket, stated in the immediate aftermath of the game that the law was essential and clarified that without the law, non-strikers could back up at liberty to gain an unfair advantage. The clear insinuation was that Butler had no one to blame but himself in leaving his crease too early. Later, the MCC performed a U-turn by stating that Butler should not have been given out, as the pause was too long between the time Ashwin reached the crease and the moment it was reasonable to expect the ball to be delivered. When Butler could have reasonably expected the ball to be delivered, he was in his ground. The MCC also added that they didn't think the Butler dismissal was within the spirit of the game. Not only did the Butler dismissal spark debate over the legitimacy of man-cudding, it also renewed interest in the origins of the term. Man-cudding takes its name from Indian all-rounder Vinu Mankad, who, during India's tour of Australia in 1947, twice ran out Australian batsman Bill Brown. This drew criticism from the Australian press, which coined the term man-cudding for it. The fact that Bill Brown had been warned more than once by Mankad and still continued to transgress was overlooked. Vinu Mankad is considered one of India's greatest all-rounders and retains a special place in the record books. He became the first Indian cricketer to reach 1,000 runs and 100 wickets in Test match cricket, taking just 23 matches to get there. Vinu also produced a stellar display in the Lord's Test match in 1952, which has come to be known as Mankad's Test. In that match, Mankad made 72 and 184 with the bat and he also picked up five wickets. He became one of a select few non-English players to feature on both batting and bowling honours boards at Lords. It is unfortunate that Mankad is mostly remembered today not because of his cricketing exploits, but because his name has become synonymous with one of the most polarising methods of dismissal in world cricket.